Hey y'all, it's Najee. I'm back with another video. It's okay, I've been gone for a little while. I'm back though. And y'all already know I'm back about to talk Like, what's, what's new? Like, okay. Let me put my glasses on so I can see y'all hoes. Today's video is going to be a mukbang. It's going to be a Kane's mukbang. And I'm eating in my bed because I'm real. Like, I, I eat in my bed. Like, <laughs> I'm a real ass bitch. I eat in my bed. I begged my mom. Like, when I was like six, I used to beg my mom to eat in my room. Like, after a while, she just let me. And now, I never stopped. So, here we are eating in my room we're gonna be eating canes today this is like my second time having canes i promise y'all if y'all never had it before it's all right it's just all right i drove 30 minutes for it just because for some reason people on the internet love canes but like it's not that good to me it's all right it's just okay like it's not all that i promise if you're a person of color and i'm not even talking about black i'm talking about any color canes is not gonna be nothing to you like it's very bland chicken this is my first month on my channel huh hmm I hate talking and eating. Like, I hate it. Like, I don't understand. Like, if I'm going to eat, I'm going to eat. If I'm going to talk, I'm going to talk. First of all, I asked for an extra piece of bread. And they forgot my bread. I don't know where they do that at. I wanted my bread. It's the best thing. It's the best thing on the plate is the fucking bread. That's why I wanted my bread. And that little hoe forgot it. She was nice, though. I'm going to chill on her. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a mukbang while I talk about whatever I want to talk about. It's just going to be me talking about things that I want to talk about. I wrote stuff down in my notes because at this point, y'all already know. I talk so much shit. I can't even remember the shit I talk. So if you don't really watch my videos, I've took like a month break. And during my break, I've just been accumulating things to talk about on my channel. So the first thing I want to talk about is something that I've been watching for over a month. So I've been on TikTok a lot. I be on TikTok a lot. I'm a TikTok ass bitch. I'm a TikTok ass bitch. I just be scrolling. And I don't know how I came across this family. But I came across this family. It's like two boys, one girl. You know, it's a stepdad. Well, he's not even a stepdaddy. He's just they, they mother boyfriend. For real, for real. Like, he has no ties to these kids. And it's a mom. It's like a four kids and then a stepdad and then a mom, right? And I'm always on TikTok and I always see the stepdad recording, like, the little kids. Like, the little girls. And he records the boys sometimes, but mostly, like, the little girls. And it's just so weird to me, but I'm so invested in their life, and I know so much about their life. I'm going to insert a clip of the family. Y'all probably already know who I'm talking about. Like, the family is called, like, MFLE, NFLE. Like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not even going to try. Like, I don't want to try. He did pranks on them. He did a prank, um, acting like their mom was dead. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got you, bro. Come on. I got y'all, bro. I got y'all, bro. I got y'all, bro. I got y'all, bro. I want to go see my mama and stop recording. I'm going to block them. Like, I'm about to block them because I feel like the whole dynamic is just weird. Like, the more stuff that I see. But I wanted to talk about them because what is going on? Like, what is what is happening? I think it's so crazy that he's recording there every single moment like it's a reality TV show. You're getting paid at what cost, my dude? Like, you're getting paid at what cost? And if you really look at this man and see him, he gives me the vibe of, like, a creepy-ass man. Like, sometimes he'll post, like, videos of himself. And I just be like, you ugly as hell. Like, you really, you really are ugly. You really are ugly. Like, I see why you couldn't get famous on your own. I see why you had to use these little children. I see why you had to use these poor little children to get clout on the internet because you was never going to do it yourself, my dude. You was, he was never going to do it himself. I feel really bad because one of the kids is a plus-size little girl, and she gets bullied so bad on the internet. She's only, like, six or seven. I wish that I could have blurred out the kids' faces and all that, but y'all know, bitch, I ain't that techie, okay? I'm not that techie yet. If I could have, I would have. The technology shit, I don't, I don't know too much about. Like I said, I watch a lot of their videos, and in a lot of their videos the little girl she is coping with food as step parents parents whatever her mom or dad i feel like as parents y'all need to be trying to understand this little girl as to why she is relying on food so much or why she looks at food to cope because it's obvious in the videos that the little girl does cope with food like why are y'all not trying to fix the situation of her using food as a coping method i feel like exploiting her and making these videos is going to do nothing for her in the long run it's going to be detrimental to her mental health it's really is like a sad situation to me I, I don't think it's a funny situation i really want to know why he is getting away with this and i really want to know like why is the mom not doing anything about this listen to me if i was that little girl i would be looking at my mom sideways like bitch why are you not defending me why are you letting this weird ass nigga post all this online about me like when she gets older she's definitely gonna hate them you know like the money that they making now i really just don't feel like it's worth the mental 
turmoil that's gonna happen to this little girl you know how i feel about internet ass motherfuckers like i'm an internet ass bitch don't get me wrong like no hypocritical shit but it's a difference between posting videos on the internet for yourself i could see if you post it yourself and you making some money like that's you that's your business but to post another person's kids and let them get bullied by thousands of people on the internet i'm pretty sure a lot of six and seven year olds are on tiktok right now like the the it's for kids but grown ass people just took over the app i'm pretty sure kids are still on the app and i say all this to say like the more i get on the internet the more i hate the internet like the more i realize like it is really a mean nasty place and like so many different people get on this platform or get on platforms and put out their suggestions put out what's in their head and y'all ain't mentally stable like that's what i'm saying like the internet is so scary if you don't have a thick ass mind because so many people are putting out information like we have so many dumbasses giving out information and that's scary like this man i don't even know where i'm getting at with this video like i'm really just running but please keep your children off the internet and please don't let these men ever play with your kids i'm pretty sure y'all not dumb like this like and then for real for real it makes me like reevaluate myself a little bit because it's just like bitch why do i know so much of y'all business maybe i'm an internet ass bitch and i need to get off the internet for a couple of weeks so i don't know what y'all have going on like why do i know random people's business like is that not weird why do i know random people's business especially not even random people because i post my business on the internet all the time but kids like why am i looking at these kids get ready for school you get you know what i'm saying like it's a difference between watching a story time and then watching a grown ass man record his children getting ready for school. Like I just feel like that's weird. Can we can we draw the line at something? That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like where where does the line draw? Where does the line draw? I don't know. Not that food getting cold. I'm passionate about the subject. Mm. I promise y'all the best thing at Canes is the fucking bread. And that says a lot. But how the bread gonna be the best thing? What Canes is for people who don't know what their food is. I'm talking big but i'm fucking this shit up my bad hold on hold on i'm fucking this up it's the sauce i keep telling you it's the sauce another thing that i wanted to talk about about the internet was dating i feel like it's so much dating advice on the internet i'm only 20 i mean maybe my my opinions don't matter but it should never be this much dating advice on the internet bitch i don't know what the fuck to do i'm just go with the flow just but like i don't want to listen to none of y'all like and i've caught myself like giving like dating advice on my page but i don't think i want to do that no more because bitch at the end of the day it's no advice that I could really give you because at the end of the day, you're going to do whatever the fuck you want because you're a human being. So, all this dating advice is doing is tainting our brains. Like, it's tainting. Like, there should be no, no, no reason that in 2024, with the education that we have, the education systems, the high technology that we have, that we are talking about spending $20 on your man. Why? Why, why is this even a conversation? If y'all not sure, it was a discourse on Twitter about, and TikTok about um this man, somebody he was talking to decided that she didn't want to pay $20 for his meal or something like that. I'll insert that clip too. What's up y'all, quick story time. So a young lady that I had dealings with or dating, was dating, whatever you want to categorize it as, was coming over to the crib, right? And so I was feeling a little hungry. So I asked her, I was like, hey, can you, you know, grab me food? I'm, I'm hungry and I don't want to leave the crib. She said, oh, sure. If you pay for it, I'll pick it up. Hmm. So then I asked, wait, do I have to pay for it in order for you to bring me food? She said, yes, because if I pay for it, it puts me in my masculine energy. Wait, so we've been dating for a little while and you can't bring me food? $20. And I have nothing to say about that. And here's why. Because what are we really talking about? Like, we got other shit we need to be talking about, bitch. The world is ending. It is men, women, and children dying as we speak. I mean dying. And I'm not playing. I'm not being funny, but they're dying. In multiple countries, in multiple places all around the world, there are multiple genocides. People are dying as we speak, bitch. Many people cannot afford a meal in America. And we're talking about $20. Like, we talk, what are we talking about? Like, this is just, it's just like... I don't know what I don't know what the conversations are giving anymore. And personally, y'all be having these big discourses, but like the answers to your questions be right in y'all face. Maybe y'all really just don't like each other. Maybe y'all just don't like each other. Maybe she just don't like you, nigga. Maybe she just don't like you. It's that simple. Let's get back to what matters. That's all I'm saying. In 2024, let's throw away the words masculine. Let's throw away the words feminine. Let's throw away the words provider. It's like at this point in time of my life, if I'm having a conversation with somebody, I 
can quickly tell if they be on the internet too much. If I'm having a conversation with you, I can tell if you be on the internet too much. Like I can tell if you a Twitter ass bitch because of the way you talk. Like you really taking internet words and put them into your real life. We have to separate the internet from real life. Yes, some stuff on the internet is true, duh. But we still have to separate social media from real life. Another example, on my spam. Now, if y'all don't know, I do have a spam page that I be on a lot when I'm not posting or when I take breaks from YouTube or TikTok or whatever. I'll be on my spam page and I'm really close with my spam followers. But at the end of the day, it's my spam. So I remember like I had posted something on my spam about something, I really forgot. And this girl, she said something that rubbed me the wrong way and I blocked her. And she got in my DM and she was so mad about it. She was like, bitch, I actually liked you, but you wanna block me or you wanna remove me? I'm like, bitch, do I know you? Like, it really hurt your feelings that bad that I removed you from my page. Seek help. And not even saying that in a mean way, but no, really seek help. Because, I mean, like, she cussed me out because she her feelings was hurt. Because I removed her from my spam page. Like, her feelings was hurt. She was like, oh, I can't have an opinion now. I thought you was cool. Like, I thought we was cool. And I can't have no opinion now. Like, you blocking people for having opinions. Yes, bitch, you can't have no opinions on my shit. This is my shit. But I don't think that she realized that. And that's why I fucked my head up so bad. Like, no, bitch, you cannot have an opinion. You cannot. This is my page. No opinions for you. Why are you this attached to a person that you do not know that you never met? That's scary. We have to, at some point, separate the internet from real life. Bitch, you don't know me like that. I love y'all, but y'all don't know me. Like, y'all, you get what I'm saying? I don't know y'all. Y'all just watch my videos and you like my personality and you like me. And I love y'all. But you shouldn't have this, what is it called? Is it called like a, somebody tell me what it's called. But it's like a relationship with somebody that you don't know because you see them on social media. And I feel like we have to stop doing that. Like, we have to really stop doing that. Everybody wants to be, you know, social media famous and Instagram famous and YouTube famous. And, you know, we have influencers now. You know, we have people to look up to online. The line is being crossed. Like, the line between reality and social media is being crossed. And I feel like it's really scary. Is that not scary for y'all? Like, that's really scary. Like, people on the internet will see what you post and really assume that they know you. You don't know me from a can of paint, sister. I'm scared. I'm a bit frightened. Mm-mm. Another thing that I wanted to talk about on here, I'm currently filming this on January the 5th, but I wanted to talk about something that happened on the 1st. Um, I don't know if y'all are aware, but it was like this video of um, these people dancing in church and they were swagging and surfing in church. You gotta walk it out. And y'all, that video pissed me off so bad. Now, obviously, I do cuss a lot, bitch, I, I curse. I am not saved, I am a work in progress. Hope I shall tell you. But I do feel like it's somewhere that we should draw a line at. Like, why are we swagging and surfing in church? And why are we recording it? And why are we staying in the church? Where are y'all grandmothers? Like, I'm really asking like, where are y'all grandmothers? My grandma did not even used to let me wear pajamas in church. So swagging and surfing, it's crazy to me. I'm sorry. It's, it's fucking my head up. And it's, I'm not even going to say social media because social media really has nothing to do with this topic. I'm going to say the new age things that we are normalizing. Like that should never be normalized. Swagging and surfing in church. It's so many gospel songs that is lit. But y'all decide to swag and surf. Marvin Sapp was right there. You could have praised them in advance. But you didn't. And that's why my head is so messed up about it. Because it's just like, what are my people doing? Lord, please save my people. Please save my people, Lord. Like, I don't know what's going on with my people. Like, black people are going to say, like, I really feel like I'm in an episode of Boondocks. I really do feel like that. Even if you're not Christian or don't believe in God or you atheist or you, you, you know, you just, you just don't believe in, you know, God. It's still wrong. Like, that's what's like, it's still wrong whether you believe in God or not. Like, it's still wrong, but it's so normal thing is it's not even about the people who don't believe in god it's about the people who do believe in god y'all are not right in the head a lot of y'all are not right this the fact that a pastor organized this is crazy sick like we are in our last days please pray repent please go eat a leaf from outside you know read your bibles do whatever you got to do because if you cannot see that we are in our last days but, sweetheart i don't know what to tell you like the things that are normal now should not be normal and it's scary. Am I crazy? And then when I say stuff and I talk about it, it makes me sound crazy or it makes me seem crazy or it makes me think that I'm crazy when it's not. Like I like when it's like am I tripping? Like a lot of things that are going on, it makes me think I'm tripping when I'm really not tripping because things are being normalized that should not be normal, boo. Jesus. 
save us. I don't even really know what this video is or what it was. It was supposed to be a mukbang, but I really just started ranting about things that are bothering me. And I feel good. I ain't gonna lie. It was a good video for me. I don't know about you, but it was pretty good for me. Uh, on a good note, I'm gonna end off on a positive, positive note. So it is 2024. Happy New Year to all you hoes. I do want to show y'all some things that I got for the new year that I feel like will help y'all too. Because this year will be good to us. It will. It's no, it's no if, ands, or buts about it. Okay? It is going to be good to us. This is not sponsored or nothing like that. I really just want to show it. But since I'm getting into my, you know, saved bag, hallelujah, and getting into my finding myself bag this year, I want to find myself. I want to be saved. I want to fear God this year. So, you know, baby steps because I am a work in progress. We probably both are works in progress, okay? So I want to show y'all my Bible. Um, I got this Bible. It is the She Reads Truth Bible. Um, it's a little dusty because it's been sitting and collecting dust. Like I said, I am a work in progress. I'm not going to cuss with this Bible in my hands, but not too much on me. I just wanted to show y'all my Bible because I'm going to really get into this. and I'm going to update y'all about how my journey is going to go. And I also got this 100 Days of Believing Bigger. It's like a journal. It's like a devotional journal. And basically like it's just pages in the book where you read like a scripture and then you talk about the scripture it's a really good book and i do recommend it to anybody who is watching this and y'all feel lost and y'all don't feel good because i be with y'all that's why i be taking month long breaks from this internet stuff but um i'll leave both links down below like i said bitch i pay sorry god like I said, I pay for these on my own. These are not sponsored. I just wanted to show y'all because this year, we're going to become better together okay but with that being said that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed the video i hope it was good do y'all like the background are y'all seeing a new background did you even notice it i bet you didn't but i love y'all i will see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>